welcome to the studios now I'm drawing a complete blank we just had a conversation about virtually every name on this planet you are Amy Rowe, Rowe. <sighs> how are you I'm doing well Baron you doing okay there <laughs> it's been a strange morning it has been a strange morning <clears throat> but it's uh, you know it's a strange world right now so I guess I shouldn't be surprised how are you how's the chamber doing what are we up to doing good doing yeah. good yeah we're getting excited i was just telling abby our friend over here and uh chris and scott about business after hours that okay. we have going on today so we're pretty excited about that one we're excited about all of them but uh deb tatter at dream vacations so she had a new uh rebranding and she's going to have some folks over and do a, a little bit of a passport business after hours. Oh, okay. I'm not sure anyone has ever done that, but you come, you get your passport, you get a lay, um, meaning like the flowers, and uh, you go from place to place and you learn about different vacations and have a little drink. So I believe Snobbleteer is going to be there. And Now, when I first got my passport, I was a little nervous about it. I didn't know what you do. I, I've heard of passports all my mm -hmm. life, but it's really not that much of a deal. And this will be a good thing for this people. This is going to be a fun passport. Yeah, so this find is going to yeah. Works and all that well, stuff. we're most of it's going to be just doing it for fun. So we're yeah. going to have the passport, and you go from section to section, and uh, we're just trying to find an opportunity for people to gather, to network, uh, to enjoy. Like you said, all of us are mm -hmm. about exhausted, you know, having a lot to do, and so we need some fun in our life. We need yeah. to be able to celebrate and come together. So she has put it out everywhere, and we have advertised it uh, to the ninth. So. We believe some good folks are going to come, and Excellent. we're excited to celebrate with everybody and show off her new business and maybe get everybody the vacation that they actually deserve yeah. and need, right? Because everybody does need one. Amen, brother. So Excellent. So we got that, and we're looking at some other business after hours coming up. Uh, we are working very diligently to provide opportunities for folks to network and connect and make sure they're impactful. So Super 8 is going to host us on September 1st and uh, they're going to show off their new treads. They've got uh, basically new beds, new carpet, uh, new tile, and uh, new pictures. Excellent. And so they're going to show that off and then share what they're going to do at Quality Inn, which okay. we are beyond excited that they are upgrading their image and providing a quality experience for folks that come to stay in Rochester and Fulton County. That's always a good thing. Amen, brother. We yeah. need that. You that can have an outstanding presentation of the entire town or the event you're doing, and if they didn't like their sleep that night, that's what they're going to remember. Amen. Sleep is so important. Yeah. We know that. So, yes. and just to I've be heard able, it is. <laughs> yeah. We don't get it, do we? <laughs> but it's essential to actually have a brain that's working. So, and, uh, you know, we're excited about the, the fact that they are partnering with us. Terry Lee and I had went out there to talk to them about the hotel because we have the innkeeper's tax and that actually helps with the Fulton County tourism. So we are looking at how can we collect that more effectively and draw folks here and not have the, um, we have a lot of exposure or the leakage that goes out to other places. So part of that is upgraded amenities and an upgraded image. So that's September 1st and then we have top industry. So we've got some nice heavy hitters for business after hours. Top industries opening their homes um, and that's on September 13th and they are going to let us know what they do and uh, give a tour. People love to know information and so they will provide the opportunity to see the location, to understand what happens and to check out all the upgrades that they've done. So we encourage folks to come out and all of that information can be found on the Fulton County uh, Chamber.com because we have new chamber software and uh, we are upgrading our image there and all of the events actually you can register for online and you can check out if you forget if you've got a busy day and you don't know the details check out the website it will actually be imported there and you don't have to remember anything i said today except for check out the website <laughs> <laughs> that's the important check information out the check out the website so and come tonight just drop it off Lay that right there and so yeah we're excited about that and of course we've got our uh final women in business uh for the year and we're excited that we have had a good following and a lot of great ladies. We have five, well, it was to be five, but now it's six women. We've got uh, Gina Vance, Cindy Douglas, Abby Warpenberg, Sherry Fulton, Anita Dubois, Ruth Gunter. And those, will, those ladies will be sharing their personal experiences. And uh, the Chancellor Giusecki from IUK, she will be moderating that because she is a much better moderator than I could even imagine. She's had a lot of experience with that. So our goal is to empower women 
to um, and folks in general to want to be the best they can be and help them to work through some of the things that they maybe need, they have questions. So we've got lots of questions that have been submitted. We put a survey out, let ladies choose the top panelist. All chamber members were available to do that. So whoever is willing and available, uh, the top five, which is now six because we had a tie, uh, are gonna sit on that panel and share. And that's September 9th from 7.45 a.m. to 9.30. Was it uh, one of the first guests you had, guest speakers maybe at uh, Women in Business this year? Uh, didn't she, did I read that, uh, and I'm trying to remember, but didn't one of them end up, they're gonna run for statewide office now? Or am I wrong about that? That was the, uh, you're talking about Sue Elsperman, Dr. That, Elsperman. okay, yep. yeah. And yeah, she yeah. took a position at, uh, That's what it was. at Ivy Tech. Ivy Tech, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, okay. so, and she was here, and actually she got to be an RTC, and we spoke to her with Tom, and she is, to me, one of the most um, amazing women. She really understands what it means to partner. She's able to effectively maneuver the system and figure out how to collectively move people towards a common goal. So I know that uh, talking to Gloria Carvey, they're excited that she's um, heading the charge there. And so she got to be the first one. That was our heavy hitter. So we're looking at next year, what does that look like? And we had a good year this year. So what does it look like to continue to help encourage women and uh, the folks in general? We have stronger women, stronger leaders, um, we've got a stronger business community. So we're excited about that. And then the chili cook-off. Yeah, that's coming up. We are so excited. It's our 25th year. And that means that 25 years before this, many people put this event together. And uh, we're working on some, hopefully, opportunities to make this the best it can be. We have a team that met at 8.30 today to talk about an upgraded PA system. Oh, good. And we've, that's been something we've been working on for a year and attempting to work the details out so that we can provide a better, a better platform and an ability to you know, work with WROI and uh, to make it a more inviting downtown. So we feel like if we could roll this out on the 25th year of this event, that would be a pretty neat opportunity. Yeah. So we've got our team signups and our vendor signups online and we're gonna roll out the uh, information hopefully to the members individually coming up in the near future. So we want everybody to come out and we've been talking to the Blacktop Cruisers and getting all those details together so we can have hopefully the largest event ever. Excellent. That's what we're working on. So Excellent. we've got a lot of good stuff. And a lot of rods and fire going on. Always and forever. It would, you know, I mean, it would be boring if we didn't. So we've got some good team members in place and working. So speaking of team members, Rochester Downtown Partnership probably saw that they got their 501c3. Yep, they did. We'll be here tomorrow to chat about that uh, with uh, Dick Belcher. So I won't speak too much about that because that would be redundant. Yes. Uh, but we are pretty excited about that. It actually happened in record time. And I don't think it was me. And it was, you know, I, I think it was Sarah Reese, who was the president. I know that for sure. She worked diligently to uh, get all the details that are painful not fun together right. and uh baldwin accounting actually helped out with that he's done a lot of nonprofit uh 501 yeah, experience with this. he has he did state theater in logan sport he's mm -hmm. working with the theater group here and uh we were blessed that he agreed to help us out with that and in real time it was basically three days it took 10 days to get back to us but we uh, submitted it on the 17th and it was officially stamped the 20th and what we had been told was it would take three to six months to make that work. So we are- it was substantially less than that one. Uh, just a little bit, right? <laughs> so just they were off by just a little bit. So I, I guess that we can take that as kind of a, uh, a kiss from heaven or something that maybe this is the, uh, you know, opportunity for us to move a bit quicker because everybody else is is ready to rock and roll we have a team um with woodlawn hospital that's doing an active living workshop right now as we speak and they're looking at more intentionally seeing walkability and bikeability um at the moment that was something that woodlawn hospital put together and so we can get all these teams to move in the same direction uh and work the plan then we will start seeing even more amazing things happen besides just that wall that has been sitting there forever so mm -hmm. we're looking forward to that and that's the uh, second thing is a strategic planning session is it now that the 501c3 is in place we can really start dreaming yeah which dreaming now is what's the, the geographical area we're talking that would about be, a strategic yep, plan yep, for ninth to uh fourth well ninth to third is the city hall uh-huh yes okay. sir so 
we have the Redevelopment Commission who will be partnering with on that, partnering with us on that, uh, talking to Ted obviously and Terry, and making sure that all of us know what specifically we desire to move forward with with the plan because the plan is about five pages and you can't get five pages done in a year uh, so you have to figure out what is it with the finances and the people that we have right. available what actually works the most and uh, that was our that's our plan for September and uh, until the end of the year for the Rochester downtown partnership because I would love to see not only just a wall done but these other projects that we have in the actual downtown revitalization plan that we're effectively moving forward with those and checking them off that would make our hearts happy to be able to actually see that so we've got small updates i don't know if you noticed tidewater mm. they did the facade grant program looks good and jackie is elated and she was willing to give us a chance and she now is one of our biggest advocates and we have the second uh, round has closed and we have two winners uh, or two grantees and that would be Tidewater for a second um, and then CASA. So Tidewater is probably gonna be our mascot. We're so excited that they gave us the opportunity to walk through the process. They've given us some good feedback about the actual process to make sure that it makes sense and it's not too prohibitory. We want folks to do it, right? Uh, so that's helpful for working out the details. So uh -huh. we're excited and we're continuing to plan and continuing to work. We just say, we put the heels on, walk down the stairs, walk over to the chamber and all of us just keep getting things done. So it's good work. Last but not least, we've got the tourism. We've been talking a lot about that. You've probably seen it in the Rochester Sentinel. Uh -huh. Lots of conversation and talk to Brian Lewis about this and just the, and talk to Ted the other day. He came into the chamber board meeting and he was speaking with somebody from Illinois someone that they had sent those letters out to and uh, that gentleman said to him I got the letter it was great and uh, I tried to research Fulton County and Rochester Indiana and I really couldn't find a large uh, presence on on the internet for what y'all are doing and uh, he said so I know you exist and I know you're working uh -huh. uh, but I can't see you in cyberspace and so Ted and I were talking about how websites are really that business card to be able to share yes. what you're doing to the world. You could be doing a million and a half things behind the scenes, but if you don't exist, just like you said earlier, it's gonna go to the 3D printing and all of those yeah. tools and... Every once in a while I'll go to a city's Facebook page for some reason, mm -hmm. and if I see that there hasn't been an entry on it in three or four years, I know they're not utilizing their tools. Amen. And, and that's... <clears throat> also something that I'll tell this to anybody who's got a web page up, because I have seen this in schools, businesses, governmental entities, up there in big bold numbers on the front of that page your phone number. Mm the pertinent contact people. Mm -hmm. I have literally gone through an entire website before and not been able to find anybody to contact via phone. Uh, I get an email, but everybody knows you see, you can send an email and get an answer back in 15 minutes or never get an answer, but if you actually call somebody on the phone, you can hear the voice and talk to them, and that's the biggest mistake I see is constantly no phone number on the web page. And we like phone numbers in yes. small towns. It makes things move around a bit more quickly. Yes. I know that for sure. Just to be able to have the opportunity to have that face-to-face -face contact is really something that's very important for small town folks. And I agree with you. And it, yeah, it's just being, it's being up front with your information. It's putting out what you're doing because we could do it and we can know that we're doing it and we can, you know, talk about it. But unless it's actually quantifiably put in a place where other people can see it, they are not there with us. Exactly. We don't have the entire uh, country uh, with us or even the state of Indiana. So unless we put that out there, then others won't. And you know what? They look. I oh, do have to say that. We, yeah, they look. One of the <laughs> most amazing things that uh, with the new chamber software, and we haven't completely rolled it out yet because I'm making sure that my software developer works out all the quirks. The worst thing you can do is put software out and then it doesn't work, right? Right. Um, but one of the neat things for chamber members is that they will actually be able to see the analytics behind how many folks really actually view their member page. And we've always talked about people viewing. We've always talked about um, people checking out our presence online. But now we can actually have the hard details of what that looks like. And so that's the tourism we, you know, 
we feel like we've got chamber we've you know we've got the city we've got Rochester downtown partnership we just all need to be talking about what we're doing and how we're doing it the brands that work together and so the rolling out of the uh, county tourism brand will help us to be able to have a, a larger presence I talked to somebody from the state tourism office yesterday about some potential opportunities to uh, help our reach to move farther versus just the you know few county area around us but into the larger area and part of that is having an updated brand and an amazing website so we excellent. will work hard and keep making that happen excellent amy rowe fulton county chamber of commerce what else do we have to cover you know i believe that's it you know excellent. always go to the fulton county chamber of commerce um how do we get a hold of you well fultoncountychamber.com that's the website check it out you'll see a few updates there if you have any questions about it don't hesitate to call we like i said are looking at the chamber master software that the northern indiana community foundation gave us and uh, we're working out those details we think it's going to be a bit more user friendly so check that out give us feedback uh call us at uh 574-224-2666 there's your phone number baron there you go. Uh, we got that we will answer that if kelly walks away leave a message we'll get back with you uh, and obviously you can email us either at chamber at rtcol.com or chamberassist at rtcol.com. So, or just walk in. Wow. You know, You're good right old. Across the street from the courthouse. Just now, walk now. on in. I don't believe that we're a Pokemon stop. <laughs> so, but, but, but you know what? We do have a Pokemon stop across the way. So we watch those people all the time. So come on over from your Pokemon stop and walk in and learn about Fulton County. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, right. well, that's because I live right here, and so I literally oh, okay. see them every night walking around chasing <laughs> Pokemon. Quite fascinating. I've been still trying to figure out how can we take them and make it work for tourism, but I haven't figured that out. So, can we can we you know categorize that? But I don't think that we can. I haven't like found a way. Bars? Yet. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Amy, thank you kindly for your time. Well, I appreciate so much the opportunity to share our story. And uh, we will talk to you again next month, I guess. Yes, sir. We'll be here. Right and now. And thank you to RTC. Yeah. No